I was happily using the lawnmower mowing the grass when this happened. So the whole handle is just sheared here, the metal's just broken. The handle's completely snapped. So that's my faithful Ryobi 36 volt mower. It's over six years old. It's been a faithful servant, but um, the handle's snapped. So the best thing to do is to try and repair the handle. You don't want to throw away the whole lawnmower and get a new one. It's very wasteful for the environment and very expensive. So I'm going to see if I can get a replacement part to fix it from Ryobi. So I purchased the lawnmower from Bunnings, an uh, Australian hardware store. So I went in into them because they're the distributor for Ryobi products. And I had to leave my details there and then the head office gave me a call a day later just asking what the problem was, what the part was. So I explained it was a lower handle assembly that's broken. So they arranged to order another one. Cost roughly $40 Australian, so it was reasonably priced. I was happy I could actually get the part. So you can do a more cost effective and environmentally friendly way of just repairing it instead of replacing the whole lawnmower. One week later. So here's a replacement part. It's the lower handle assembly, so it sort of goes there to replace this part that's broken. Unfortunately, it's silver, so I'm going to spray it black. And I was thinking of spraying this part as well, just so it matches, but I'll, I'll see what happens. So that was good customer service. Um, many manufacturers, if a product's more than two years old, they say, you know, goodbye. They can't help you, but at least it's a six-year-old product, but at least I could get the spare parts. I'm really happy with that. So don't forget to remove the battery and the red power little key before you work on the lawnmower for safety. So to get the handle off, you've got to open up the clamp, unscrew it to remove the handle. Next, you need to loosen these clamps and unscrew this out of the way. So next these zip ties have to be removed and this wiring harness has to be unclamped off. Just be careful with sharp knives and don't cut the wire. Always pull the blade away from you. Sometimes it's easier with scissors, but just be careful not to cut the wire. So I've just compared the new piece, which is underneath. It is the same size and the correct piece. So these old pieces will go to the Bathurst Waste Management Center in the metal recycling. So I've got my new piece, it's been wiped with metho with a rag to clean it off. Hanging it up here, ready to be sprayed outdoors, don't forget your safety mask and glasses and gloves. I'm just using this white night spray, it's black. You can use it, wood, metal and plastic. It's got its own primer, so it's simple, you just spray it on, ready to use. I've just cleaned and prepped the upper handle. It's going to give them a slight spray just to freshen them up and make the colour match this black. So that will do. Let everything touch dry about 10 minutes in this case. Leave it overnight in the shed to fully dry and we'll reassemble everything tomorrow. The next day. So it's the next day now. The upper part has been sprayed to match the colour. And the lower part, the new part's been sprayed because it was silver, so I wanted it black, so it's matching.
So let's get it all assembled so the lawnmower can be put back into service. So the assembly's the opposite, so we're going to put the lower new part into here. Use the bottom clamps and put the upper part onto the top with these other clamps. So have the surround the same, the groove in it, the same direction as the handle. So just screw it in a bit more. So you can sort of feel it when it's going to be tight enough. So the upper one's got three holes. You can choose which hole to line up with here. But I'm going to choose the middle one to suit my height. So you have the turning bit with this little spacer, the lower handle, the upper handle, and the clamp in that order. So you need a bit of force to close it, but not an excessive amount of force. Wow, looks so much better already. So not only is it a great looking repair, I've saved myself money and saved the environment. Instead of throwing away the whole lawnmower, just simply got a new lower handle and replaced it. And the old one is going to get recycled in the waste metal at Bathurst Waste Management Centre. Thank <laughs> you.